Um, we are all familiar with what's going on in our world today. The war in Iraq and Afghanistan, where so many of our men and women, as well as Iraqi and Afghan citizens, have lost their lives thus far, let me be very clear. My support for the men and women in Iraq and Afghanistan is to see them come home and not another life lost due to a war that was built on false accusations. In order to do this, I will deliver my first executive order to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Operation Exit Plan. Operation Exit Plan will go into effect during my first days in office. It will be done in three stages. Stage one, develop communications with the next, with the new sitting government of Iraq and Afghanistan with an understanding that the United States forces are going into a ceasefire and exit process. Our allies will be notified of the ceasefire as well. Stage two, once the ceasefire is in place and confirmed, an order will go into effect to gather all of our military equipment and prepare to ship all back to the United States. All military personnel will leave the countries as well. The new government of Iraq and Afghanistan will take over their own affairs and send reports to the United Nations Security Council. Medical services will be provided to ensure the good health of their citizens. Stage three. There will be a final call and check of all military equipment and personnel. All will arrive in Germany for medical clearance and debriefing. Once this process is completed, the men and women will be on their way home to their respective states here in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that simple. But I will not leave the country high and dry. I will ask Congress to pass a bill providing funds for the medical aid and materials for the rebuilding efforts within Iraq and Afghanistan. I will call on the Red Cross, the Salvation Army, and other nonprofit relief effort organizations to participate in funding this event. I open the doors to America, to the American community, to create fundraising drives or to support with just two dollars from their annual income once they file for it at the end of the year. This will be a worldwide effort. The burden will not weigh heavy on the United States alone. I will ask the international community to follow our lead and support in the same way. The timeline that I have developed will begin in February of 2009. The troops will be home by November 2009 and January 2010. The rehabilitation shall begin and continue until the job is done. Making this an international effort gives everyone the opportunity to show their humanity. The current administration is dragging their feet and going around the issues. I will not drag my feet and I will get the job done. The troops will be coming home. 